Imagine a world colossal and cold, where mammoths towered over forests and giant sloths lumbered across the plains. This wasn't fiction, but the reality of North America during the Ice Age. Enormous creatures, known as megafauna, ruled the land. We will start with mastodons. Distant relatives of modern-day elephants were colossal creatures that roamed the landscapes of North America during the Ice Age. These ancient giants were characterized by their massive size and distinct features, making them a prominent part of the prehistoric ecosystem. Physically, mastodons were robust animals with sturdy, stocky bodies covered in coarse hair. They possessed elongated tusks, which were curved and often more straight than those of modern elephants, used for various tasks such as stripping bark from trees and defense against predators. Their teeth were adapted for grinding tough vegetation, reflecting their herbivorous diet. Mastodons inhabited a wide range of environments across North America, from forested regions to open grasslands. They were particularly abundant in areas with ample vegetation and access to water sources, where they could graze on a variety of plant materials. Their distribution during the Ice Age was influenced by factors such as climate, food availability, and competition with other species. In Ice Age ecosystems, mastodons played a crucial role as large herbivores, shaping the landscape through their feeding habits and interactions with other organisms. Their browsing activities influence plant growth and distribution, contributing to the diversity of plant communities in their habitats. Additionally, mastodons served as prey for carnivorous predators like saber-toothed cats and dire wolves, playing a key role in the intricate web of predator-prey relationships that characterize Ice Age ecosystems. Next, we have woolly mammoths. Woolly mammoths, among the most iconic creatures of the Ice Age, were large, shaggy relatives of modern elephants that roamed across vast expanses of North America, Eurasia, and parts of Africa. Their appearance was characterized by long, curved tusks, a thick coat of fur, and a humped back. These adaptations helped them survive in the harsh, frigid environments of the Pleistocene Epoch. Their most notable adaptation was their thick fur, which provided insulation against the extreme cold. Woolly mammoths also had a layer of fat beneath their skin, further aiding in heat retention. Additionally, their relatively small ears and short tails minimized heat loss. These physiological adaptations allowed woolly mammoths to thrive in regions with subarctic climates, where temperatures often dropped well below freezing. Woolly mammoths inhabited a wide geographic range, spanning from the northern reaches of Siberia to the grasslands of North America. They were highly migratory animals, following seasonal patterns of vegetation growth and climate changes. During the warmer months, they would roam across vast expanses of tundra in search of food, while in the winter, they would retreat to more sheltered areas to avoid harsh weather conditions. Interactions between woolly mammoths and humans were likely frequent during the Ice Age. Early humans hunted mammoths for their meat, bones, and hides, utilizing nearly every part of the animal for survival. Evidence of this interaction can be found in the form of ancient cave paintings, tools crafted from mammoth ivory, and butchered mammoth remains. Additionally, woolly mammoths likely competed with other Ice Age species, such as saber-toothed cats and giant ground sloths, for resources such as food and water. Lastly, we will discuss saber-toothed cats. Saber-toothed cats, commonly referred to as smilodons, were among the apex predators of the Ice Age, known for their iconic elongated canine teeth and formidable hunting abilities. These prehistoric felines belonged to the genus Smilodon, and were distinct from modern-day cats. Smilodons were characterized by their robust build, well-developed forelimbs, and short, bobbed tails. They were highly specialized predators adapted for ambushing and subduing large prey. Physical features played a crucial role in the hunting strategies of saber-toothed cats. Their most distinctive feature was their large, curved canine teeth, which could grow up to 11 inches in length. These impressive teeth were used to deliver devastating bites to the neck or throat of their prey, often severing major blood vessels or causing fatal wounds. Additionally, Smilodons possessed powerful jaw muscles and a broad skull, enabling them to deliver powerful bites and exert immense force while grappling with struggling prey. Fossil evidence of saber-toothed cats has been discovered across various regions of North and South America with notable specimens found in locations such as the La Bretar Pits in Los Angeles, California. 
These fossils provide valuable insights into the morphology, behavior, and distribution of smilodons during the Ice Age. Analysis of fossilized remains has revealed details about their size, anatomy, and evolutionary adaptations, helping scientists reconstruct the ecology of ancient ecosystems. The Ice Age giants may be gone, but their legacy continues to spark wonder. These incredible creatures were a testament to the power and diversity of life on Earth. What other prehistoric giants would you love to learn more about? Share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe for more epic explorations of our planet's incredible history.